Hey, what's up guys, Narky46, and today I'm going to be showing you how to get your own music into Minecraft using the new resource packs that they have added recently in the 1.6 version of Minecraft. So, maybe you don't like the records that they currently have in Minecraft? Well, now you can change it, and I'm going to be showing you how to do that. So, first what you're going to want to have is you're going to want to make sure you have a program called Audacity, that is how you're going to be able to put your music into the sound files and change that around since you are now able to do that with resource packs. Um, I will also have a default resource pack zip file that will be in the description so make sure you download that as well. Um, so first what you're going to want to do is find some songs that you like so I'm just going to go to my music area um, actually no, never mind the desktop. I think I have my, I'm just going to use some dubstep songs that are not copyrighted for video purposes. Now you could put in whatever music you really want to, but just for the sake of this tutorial, I'm going to be using some non-copyrighted dubstep. Okay, so, uh, right here, I'm just going to use this song right here. So what you would do is first select your song, find it, and then open Audacity. You want to go to File and Open. Then you're going to select your file. You have to find it on here. And I just have it in here. So I selected the song. This is what I want. I'm going to open that up in Audacity. Could take a couple seconds. It's normally not too bad. Um, and then after that you're going to want to go to File, Export. Now this is important, you're going to want to make sure you save it as an OGG Vorbis files, because that is what Minecraft uses. And this, you, this will automatically be in here, you don't have to worry about downloading any other programs to get this file type. So then you're going to want to just save it to your, um, I don't know, I'm just going to save it to, uh, Documents, I guess. Yeah, sure. I'll save it to my documents. So this could take a little bit of time, so I will be back when it is done. Okay, so now what you are going to do is just close out this. Uh, no changes, and close that. So now you're going to want to type in percent, ah, data percent. And you're also going to need uh, Notepad++, which will also be in the description for downloading. So what you want to go to is your resource packs and or dot minecraft and then you're going to make a new folder. So I just named this my music. And this is the name that it will be in Minecraft when you select the resource pack. So you can name it really whatever you want. I just did my music. Open that. You're going to want to make a folder called assets and you're going to want to make this text um, document. Now actually here, when, here, I'll show you how to make that. So when you first make it, you want to make a new text document. Open that up. And then what I just pasted will be in the description of the video. So you can copy paste it. Um, you're going to want to hit File, Save As. And just type in, uh, what is it? Oh, File, Save As, Pack dot mc meta and then you want to go to all files and then when you save it it already exists so no I don't want to replace it so you just save that and then uh, don't save you can just delete your new text document after that it will have this in here so once you have that then you're good on that part open your assets you're going to make a folder called minecraft inside assets and then inside minecraft um, you're going to want to make another folder called records so this is basically what you're changing and then inside your records folder you are going to want to drag in your song that you want so let me get that song from documents and okay so here it is you want to just drag that in and I drag it in. Okay, there it is. 
a little laggy. Alright, so then once you have your new song in there inside your records folder, you're going to want to rename it. Now you can rename it to any of the Minecraft record names, which the names will be in the description um, of the video so that you can see all the different names you can rename it to. You can only have one for each um, normal record that there would normally be because you're basically just replacing what was already there. So I am just replacing the cat. Let me close that. Uh, not responding. Okay, there, there we go. Um, so now that this is cat, um, that song will now be in Minecraft. So I will be back once I open Minecraft and select the resource pack. Okay, so once you have your Minecraft open, you're going to want to just create a new world or really you don't need to create a new world. I'm just going to go into my, my music test world, which is just so I can show you that it does work on the jukebox with this new song. Now you can add as many songs as you really want to, as many different records there are to really replace, because there is, um, how many there's, well you have 13, cat, blocks, chirp, far, blah 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 blah, so you can replace all of those with your own music, so since I used cat, I'm going to pop in the cat disc, and I have my sound 100%, so, pop that in. And, as you can hear, the dubstep is playing. And we, you don't have the Minecraft songs, which can get really boring. And you can really change these out whenever you get tired of a song. So this is kind of just so you have your own music with music discs now. So you can, like, get your own music in here and load it up. It's kind of like, kind of like a iTunes of Minecraft, if you, if you want to call it that. So yeah, thank you for watching, if you have any questions leave them in the comments below, and once again leave me a like, subscribe if you're new, thanks for watching, see you later!